guys, Pete here. Great to see you again. Uh, today I thought I'd do a little video on uh, how to fix the old uh, plasma torch if your switch is buggered up on it. Um, you don't want to be going buying a new torch and I've got a quick little hack here that'll uh, get you out of trouble real quick. Hi guys, I don't know if uh, you're anything like me and uh, when you're using your plasma torch that you run over the bloody thing or you, or you just stand on it and you break the switch because these switches are not exactly flash. And what most people do is they'll uh, just replace the whole torch, spend a hundred bucks for a new torch and a new lead and um, just replace the thing. But um, there's your switch in there and it's uh, just got two wires coming off your switch like so. And these things just break or you stand on them or you run over them with your truck or something. And, and if you're anything like me, <laughs> I go through a lot of these things eh? and I was just buying a new torch and doing all the drama and, and replacing the torch. But I come up with a uh, with a quick hack that you don't have to do that. So uh, let's see, you've got your two wires in there that, that run out your lead here. So what I do, and all I do, is buy half a dozen of these switches. And they're as cheap as chips. I just um, go to Amazon and buy them on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. And uh, what I do is I just... I mean, it doesn't look the flashes, but, but if you switch down the bottom there, it doesn't work. All you want is your plasma, plasma gun to uh, to work again. So uh, I just put it on the top there like so and and, and use that. So, and, and to attach them, they're uh, very easy to attach. All you do is um, put a couple of zip ties on them, just like so. So you just um, go through there, through the front, like so. Pull it round there, uh, round your gun like so, and um, a bit hard to do this one-handed, but I'll get there. Tighten it up on the top there. Make sure you hold it properly. Tighten it up. Put one at the back. Throw the little hole there. Can you see the little hole? Brilliant little switches. Through the back there, like so. Run it around your old torch, like so. Up through there. Center them up again. Like so. Solid as a rock. Cut them off, turn snip, 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 on off, and you're, you're away again. So that, uh, instead of buying the torch, 30 bucks for a torch, or, or 100 bucks for a torch and a lead, just um, buy the switches. You know, they can get five of those switches for about $7. Brilliant. And it's just got your two wires here, like it's exactly the same as in your torch. And you can either come down here with the wire, and just nick a little cut in the plastic and put the wire in there and join it onto your cord in here or you can just run it all the way back to your machine and just tape it as you go along and uh, all that wire does in your plasma cutter is, is go to a little plug like that that goes in your plasma cutter and if we pull that off or unscrew it sorry and you'll see there two little contacts solder extend this wire here these two wires here extend it all the way down to your machine zip tie it to your original cord solder the wires that you've extended onto this little plug here plug that into your machine and you're away but um i don't even do that all i do is cut my original cord take my handle off the gun cut my original cord stick it in there cut the original wires zap it up with tape, push hold it back in, and away you go. And you're away. And I mean, this is a cheap fix. I mean, you buy five or seven of these, I don't know, I don't know five or seven or whatever they are. You know, they work out about a dollar fifty each or something. I mean, that's a really cheap fix. And um, you not only you can use them for your plasma torch, you can also use them for, uh, for your MIG torch as well. Exactly the same thing. It's only two low voltage wires, and you're away. Brilliant. Well, I think it is anyway. But it doesn't take much to please me, hey guys? <laughs> yeah, so, cool. And it's much the same for uh, any plasma torch, guys. See this plasma torch here? It's just another model. It's 
like this one here, but it's just a smaller version of it, but it takes exactly the same consumables. Now these switches here, see this has got an inbuilt switch like this, this one here, if we take that out, and um, these are only little switches, and these get broken, they get overheated, and they just, they're just terrible things. So um, what I do with that is, all I do, once again it's just your two wires, we just put that back in there, like so. Take one of these switches, if this one's here it's broken, put them around like that, once again, put them like that with your two wires. Get our, get our zip ties, so we put um, one in the front, like so. Put it down wherever we want. One on the front like so, bend it around. Once again, it's one-handed, but we'll get there. Tighten them up. And if you, if you put the bottom of it at the bottom, it doesn't get in your way. Like so. Get the other one. See, once again, your holes in the side. So you've got various holes. You've got one right up the front here. You've got one in the middle and one at the back. So I normally put one in the front and one at the back. So we uh, put this one through here. Turn them around. Tighten them up. Once again, put it on the bottom. Like so, get a pair of um, a pair of pliers, snip them off at the bottom. So we'll snip this one off here, and then we'll snip this one off here, like so. Doesn't come off; it's as solid as a rock. Use that torch again. On off. No worries at all, we don't need the old switch. Same thing, two wires. Go into your two pin socket. Either put your wires all the way down, or what I do is I'll just tuck it into into here. Open your torch, tuck it into here, join it onto your original wires, and you're away. And that whole fix was, was under two bucks. Really good, really, really quick, incredible. So that's what I do guys, uh, saves you a lot of hassle. And like I say, I'm my standing on the things or doing all sorts of queer things with them. So if you just have a have a switch, or you get half a dozen switches handy, I mean for a couple of bucks each, yeah, you just keep going with your projects. You don't have to muck around and buy a new torch and do all the drama. Anyway guys, um, I hope you liked it. If you want to buy them, like I say, there's uh, links down the bottom for the little switches. I'd recommend that you have some on your drawer. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe up the top, and um, any comments you'd like to say, just put them down the bottom. Hi guys, thanks for watching, um, yeah, hope you learned something, uh, you know the rules, if you like my videos, uh, hit the subscribe button up the top there, and uh, drop a comment down below, if you've got something to say, um, yeah, if you want to buy one of these little switches, um, they're awesome things to have in your uh, toolkit at home, just um, click the link below, I'll put a link there, and you can uh, buy them, they're as cheap as chips, like I say, so uh, thanks for watching again guys, we'll see you next time.